Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather to Click Donk's Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for July 4th to the 18th. For July 4th to the 8th, the flow gradually transitioned into more of a zonal flow as this trough here over the northeast lifts out and uh, the eastern and the westerlies will gradually be, across, uh, be positioned across the northern states and southern Canada. An upper low moving through, excuse me, the south central plains will continue the chances of rain across the region. Rain and storms will be possible for the Gulf Coast states. And then we'll have monsoonal activity here in the southern Rockies. And the heat will continue for the northwest, but will be less extreme as the ridge weakens but temperatures could exceed 100 degrees uh, from the Great Basin into the Northern Rockies. We're gonna look at the period now for July 9th to the 13th. And a more of a zone of flows forecast. Now we still have this strong ridge here over the, over the west. And we'll have <clears throat> the westerlies to be here across the Northern States. Excuse me. So for this forecast period, I'm forecasting above normal temperatures for much of this region here. And I'm forecasting anomalies to be about 6 to 12 degrees above normal. For precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation for the western states. Probability of occurrence is 35 to 55 percent. And we have above normal precipitation for this region, lower and mid middle Mississippi Valley and east of the Mississippi River. Probability of occurrence is 35%. And now we're going to look at the period for uh, July 14th to the 18th. And little overall change is forecast. Still expecting more of a zone of flow like this. We still have our strong ridge here in the west, the four corner region. And this will cause above normal temperatures for much of the country. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for above normal temperatures temperatures for this region and I'm calling for anomalies to be uh, up to 12 degrees above normal mainly across areas that have been dry in the northwest parts of the Great Basin and for precipitation calling for below normal precipitation for the west the central and the northern plains probability of occurrence is 35 to 55 percent and we have above normal precipitation forecast from the Tennessee Valley into the mid-Atlantic region probability of occurrence is 35 percent. Now we're going to take a look at the Rockies. This is tracking um, tropical storm um, I, I don't know how to say it. Elsa. This is uh, as of 5 p.m. The position is I know you can see 11.2 north, 53.8 west. Maximum sustained winds are 45 miles per hour, and movement is towards the west northwest at 20 miles per hour. And this fast movement is due to um, the ridge to the north, following the southern trajectory, and the trough moving into the eastern U.S. will cause it. But then will cause it to move rapidly uh, uh, northwestward. But then it will begin to slow down. And uh, we're going to take a look at that at the surface as it could affect portions of Florida as we get into next week. So we're going to start here um, on Saturday. Then we're going to go here to Monday. We start to see it down here approaching Cuba. And then we're going to go to... Um, Tuesday night at 8 p.m. You can see it down there approaching Cuba still. And we're going to go to ADM on, on Tuesday. And it starts bringing in um, effects. Here is Elsa. And then we go to uh, 8 p.m. Tuesday night. And then we go to 8 a.m. on Wednesday. And then it moves up along the coast here like this by Thursday and then it's off the middle end to coast and this will have to be watched because even though the models bring it out there could be some fringe effects from this on the western side it could affect portions of the middle Atlantic we'll keep a, a close eye on that 
So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for July 4th to the 18th. Thanks for coming to Jim on this world of weather and have a good day.